Road to GH will reveal exciting plot details for the week from October 28th to November 1st, 2024. First, Sidwell has returned to Port Charles after a long absence since his last appearance in Miami. He is not only back to reclaim his lost diamonds, but also brings with him a burning desire for revenge, especially aimed at those who betrayed him. Holly is at the top of that list, as she not only betrayed him, but also boldly stole his valuable jewelry. For someone like Sidwell, this betrayal is unforgivable, and he will surely not stop until he has exacted his revenge. This puts Sasha, Holly's daughter, in danger. Although she is not directly involved in the matter, being Holly's daughter means Sasha cannot avoid being dragged into the dangerous conflict between Sidwell and her mother. Realizing the escalating threat, Robert cannot sit idly by. As a father who has never had the chance to build a close relationship with Sasha, Robert feels the weight and responsibility of protecting his daughter pressing heavily on his shoulders. Even though Sasha still feels like a stranger to him emotionally, blood ties and protective instincts compel Robert to act. With extensive experience in dealing with dangerous criminals, Robert begins to plan to rescue Sasha from the risk of becoming Sidwell's target for revenge. Sasha is not only a victim caught in the feud between her mother and Sidwell, but also a crucial link in this complex revenge story. Robert knows that time is not on his side, and hesitation could mean losing the chance to save his daughter. He will do everything he can to ensure Sasha's safety, even if it means confronting Sidwell head-on in a relentless battle. Anna, Jason, Lucky, and even Isaiah could all become targets of Sidwell's brewing wrath. With Sidwell back in Port Charles, those who have opposed or crossed him now face serious consequences. Secondly, Heather is sure to cause chaos immediately after her release. This is not just the return of a woman with a troubled past, but also a complex reunion with her son, Stephen. Previously, Liz revealed that Stephen, after serving his sentence, wanted to distance himself from his mother to find a new path in life. However, familial emotions and compassion might lead Stephen to reconsider his decision. This reunion will not be easy, and it will bring heartbreaking moments as both face old wounds and try to rebuild their long-broken family bond. Meanwhile, characters like Portia, Trina, and Curtis will not be able to stand by idly. They are well aware of Heather's tumultuous and dangerous past and will immediately feel alarmed by the possibility of her spreading fear in Port Charles again. Without hesitation, they will issue serious warnings, making it clear to Heather that if she dares to cause any further devastation, they will not hesitate to act to stop her by any means necessary. Curtis, in particular, will emphasize that he will not allow anyone to threaten the safety of those he loves, which includes keeping a close eye on Heather's every move. Nevertheless, Heather will remain calm and attempt to convince everyone that her sole goal is to live a peaceful life. She will assert that all she wants is to bond with Ace, her grandson, and witness him grow up surrounded by family love. Heather will paint a picture of a stable life, free of violence or schemes like in the past. But those who know Heather well will find it hard to believe her words. With a past riddled with ruthless acts, can Heather truly change? or is it just a facade for new plots? Her promises may be doubted, and the bigger question remains, is she truly capable of living a tranquil life as she claims? Finally, Lulu and Sam's loved ones are sitting and waiting, filled with anxiety and fear about the outcome of the critical organ transplant surgery. As time passes, their worries increasingly shift toward Lulu, who has a serious medical history with multiple pre-existing health issues. While Sam is considered healthier and at lower risk during the surgery, the reality unfolding shows that Sam is the one facing the greatest danger. The surgery proceeds with unexpected complications. Although Lulu may survive the operation, Sam is confronted with severe complications. Signs indicate that Cyrus, the enemy of both, has tampered with Sam's IV fluids, causing her health to deteriorate rapidly. This dark interference could lead to an unfortunate surgery with unpredictable consequences. As news of Sam's condition begins to spread, a heavy atmosphere envelops her loved ones. Molly and Christina, two sisters who have had many misunderstandings and conflicts with Sam, will fall into despair as they realize that their last moments with Sam are filled with pain. The last time they spoke with her occurred in a tense atmosphere. 
leaving them with regret. Unsaid words and unresolved misunderstandings will haunt their minds. Alexis Davis, Sam's mother, will be torn between anxiety and profound grief. With every passing second, she will feel as if time has stopped and every memory of Sam will come flooding back from childhood days to recent arguments. Scout and Danny, Sam's children, will not fully understand what is happening, but the feeling of loss and sadness will be reflected on their innocent faces. Dante, who has always cared for and loved Sam, will feel the emotional pain piling up. Each piece of bad news about her condition will feel like a knife stabbing his heart. The helplessness in protecting the woman he loves will leave Dante even more devastated. Ultimately, Sam's passing will not only be a physical loss, but also a profound emotional shock for everyone. They will have to confront the unhealable pain, and the future will seem bleak as they try to find a way to move on while carrying the memories of a vibrant Sam. Each of them will struggle with complex emotions, from regret and anger to deep sorrow, as they prepare to say goodbye to the one they love most.